What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to add music to your stream. I'm going to show you how to add playlists and I'm also going to show you how to add the SR command function so your viewers can request songs. Before we get started, if this video helps you out at all, please consider giving it a like and consider subscribing to the channel if you'd like to see more Stream Elements tutorials. All right, let's hop over to Stream Elements and get started. All right, so now that we're in the Stream Elements dashboard, I'm going to show you guys how to add the playlist and the SR command. So the first thing you want to do is go scroll all the way to the bottom on the left hand side here and click on media request. And has a bunch of different settings here you can play around with. Uh, go to the settings section here on the right. Uh, more settings here. Play around with. Media request mode, autoplay media, cue limit, that sort of thing. Uh, now the main thing you want to do here is the backup playlist. So this playlist is taken from YouTube. Now I'll show you guys how to add the playlist from YouTube. I'll delete mine there. And then now let's hop over to YouTube. So now we're over onto YouTube and we're gonna find our playlist. The playlist that I like to use is called Stream Beats by Harris Heller. When you find the playlist that you'd like, click on it. And then you wanna right click up here on the top and copy link address. So this will copy the actual playlist. If you were to try to do it from the search screen in the previous screen, you will just copy one song and I like to just double check that this is an actual playlist so we'll have that so now you'll know that it's an actual playlist when it says playlist in the URL there so that's quite easy to find so now let's go back over to stream elements and add it to our stream so now that we're back over in stream elements we want to paste our playlist into the backup playlist section do that there. Now I like to have autoplay media on so if you have viewers who are requesting songs and all those requested songs end it'll automatically play the backup playlist. You don't have to do any sort of finding your music again or anything like that. I'll keep it on shuffle. There's bot and loyalty things you can play around with if you have channel points for people to use and then just other settings here filters and all that. So. You guys can play around with those settings. They're pretty straightforward. And the last thing I will show you on this video is how to add the actual song request command. In order to add the SR chat command, what you're going to want to do is go over to the left hand side here again, click on chat commands, go to default commands. And what I'm going to do is just search for the word song to show you guys all the different commands that are related to song requests. Uh, so there's next song, skip, exclamation mark song, which just shows the current song, song request, which is the most important one, and I'm going to show you that one here in a second, vote skip, so you think your viewers can vote to skip the current song, wrong song, pause, play, remove song, song cue. So you can search through all those different ones there, but the most important one here is song request. Click on that. So the actual command is exclamation mark song request, but what uh, most people do is just exclamation mark SR and that's just a custom alias. So people can type in either exclamation mark song request or exclamation mark SR and it'll do the same thing. So in order for people to request a song, what they're going to do is type exclamation mark SR space and the, either a YouTube link to the song they want to request or just the song name or the song title, that sort of thing. And the program will pick it up. Sometimes it doesn't pick up the right songs, uh, but they'll your reviewers will tell you. <laughs> All right. So last but not least, we want to add the media request function to our actual stream. So assuming you have stream elements linked with the OBS, what you want to do is you want to go up to the top here find media request it'll open up the widget here on the right and you can see that i have a song already in the queue from the backup playlist now it says backup playlist here because that's where the song is coming from and if if someone requested a song it would be their the, the viewer's name there instead of backup playlist now what i'm going to do is i'm going to test 
you can see I tested a SR there already. So what I'm going to do is I'll test another song request. So exclamation mark SR. And then I'll do the same song just so we don't get booted. Dark Matter by Harris Heller. Enter. And there we go. It started playing. So that's it there. Now if you, you can keep requesting your own songs there or you can enter YouTube URLs or titles here yourself. Um, your viewers, again, will be able to request songs and their names will come up here. And as soon as their song ends, the backup playlist will begin. So you won't have to mess around with uh, the music settings. Another thing is you can change all the settings that we just changed in the online version of Stream Elements. You can also edit all the settings here as well so you don't have to go back into the browser. So that makes it really, really easy to set this up. YouTube, you can even you can even put your backup playlist here that I forgot to do. I forgot to hit save. So there you go. All right, guys, I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. I do play a lot of Xbox on Call of Duty, so if you'd like to run up some games, please add me on Xbox. And if you'd like to hang out on Twitch, please do. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching, have a great day. Alright guys. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Nope.